Our first caller is Deborah from Texas. Hey, Deborah, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Uh, before I start, I want to say I'm super excited uh, to be talking to you. You're the closest things to celebrities that I follow. <laughs> um, and I, you have really, your content has changed my life in more than just the fitness aspect. I think I've uh, made a lot of mindset progress um, from following your podcast. So thanks for what you guys do. Um, okay, so I live in Central Texas, and I'm wondering how I might best uh, change my lifting programming just a little bit this summer um, to get through some of the extreme heat and humidity. Um, to give a little background, I started, I got back into lifting about um, 18 months ago or a little bit less. Uh, I worked out primarily from home, but as I've gotten a little bit more towards the intermediate level of lifts, I joined a gym. It's kind of an old school bodybuilding gym. It has an indoor air conditioned area, but it's usually pretty packed and there's a lot of machines in there. I prefer to use um, barbells and dumbbells and kettlebells when I can. So I use the outdoor functional space most of the time. And that's great um, for nine months out of the year, but these summer months, it's already starting to get very hot out there. And I'm just wondering I feel myself a lot of days getting really weak um, pretty early on in my lift. So I'm wondering what I might be able to do to still maintain a good um, strength protocol while um, being safe. Okay. Well, I noticed in your notes that you said you're supplementing with Element uh, while you're doing your workouts. Is that correct? And then cordyceps. Yes. The element salts uh, have helped quite a lot. And I've started taking um, cordyceps as well at your suggestion. And I have noticed a difference um, there too. I'm trying not to be a wimp about the heat. I mean, I know mm -hmm. there's people that work in this heat all day, all summer long. So I know I can withstand it for a couple of days a week, but it's really a killer. My work schedule does not allow me to get into the gym um, anytime mm -hmm. other than like 3.30 to 5 in the afternoon, which is the absolute worst time mm -hmm. to do it. But it's when I have the opportunity. So I got to go with it. That's what I was going to ask. I was hoping that you had a way that you could work out earlier in the morning or later at night. Uh, maybe just, I mean, I, I have a, this, this is a really fun and interesting question. I don't think I had ever had a question just like this. Uh, but, but you, you have the least heat tolerance outside of all of us. <laughs> yeah, you might yeah. have some good suggestions. Well, over, right away, you know what comes to mind for me, what I would probably do, because you're right. I, I don't I don't like that at all. Uh, this, I might run up, because obviously there's only, there's going to be a, a short period of time. We're talking about a month or two months where it's going to be like, like it's just intolerable, right? It's not like the whole year is like this. It's just, you you probably are talking about right. a month or two, right? So, I think, I mean, first. Th this is actually where I am. And I don't know if you have this flexibility to extend the workout to be longer, but I would probably do these like really long rest periods. This would, you would find me being like, uh, you know, power lifter Adam at this time, you yeah. know, I would be doing the, the three minute breaks. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, I totally, I would yeah. be doing the three minute breaks, running a five by five type of a routine or like an anabolic phase one. Cause what I don't want to be doing is like if phase three of aesthetic or something or, or maps performance, you know, phase two or three, where you're just like, that yeah. would just crush Your me. Heart's just racing. The whole time. Yeah. I think that, I mean, that's like, cause you're already doing the stuff on supplements. I mean, and I see you drink a gallon of water. So you're drinking the water, you're doing the sodium intake, you're doing the cordyceps. So I think you're doing all the right things that way. Justin already hit the easy one, which is, you know, can we train at a colder time in the day? So if you're stuck in the middle of the heat, then, I guess what I would do, my programming would look like these long rest periods, you know, longer than what I normally would do. And it's, you're not going to get, it's not going to hurt your, your progress by doing that. Uh, so that's what I would, that's the first thing that comes to mind. What do you think, Sal? Yeah, I, I would say because there's a drawback to that too, because then you're exposed to the heat a little longer. I think people underestimate the amount of sodium uh, that they would need to, to tolerate a lot of heat. Um, so you may be, I don't know how many packets of element you're drinking, uh, during your workout, but I would do. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm doing one full pack. Yeah. I would try one full pack before you work out. So, you know, maybe, maybe a half hour to an hour before you work and out one midway or half and then one, uh, one while you're working out because you want to get that in your system before you start the, otherwise you start to play kind of catch up. Um, and aside from that, you just you're just gonna have to listen to your body while you train. So it might mean you don't lift as heavy. It might mean you're not doing as much volume, but that's totally fine. 
the heat actually adds a little another element to the adaptation process, and we do tend to acclimate uh, to the workouts as we practice them, but. It's nothing to worry about unless you're finding yourself getting dizzy, nauseous, or getting like these massive headaches. But yeah, don't underestimate the the sodium. I would go a packet before. I mean, I'll tell you what, like I don't eat processed food, so my sodium intake is normally low. I'm not working out in the heat. You're uh, doing like two or three packets. But I'll do, I'll do a packet before I work out and a packet during. If I was out in the sun, it might even be a, a little bit more. So I would try a packet before and then a packet during. And, you know, and then listen to your body and, and see mm-hmm. how you feel and modify the workouts accordingly. But it's not going to take away from uh, your results, if anything, because it's different. It might actually improve uh, some of the results that you get. Yeah, I'm hoping um, I actually just recently moved into a, a carnivore style um, way of eating just to um, try to break a, a really bad sugar addiction that I have. And so I'm hoping the extra sweat will help me get rid of some of those toxins as well. So trying to look at it as a positive situation. It really, it's kind of sucked already a couple of days this year. Um, but I, I have been leaning towards what Adam said to, to kind of go with a, a five by five or, or less with the longer rest periods, yeah. because it really does take a lot out of you pretty quick. Yeah. I have mad respect for like the guys that go to Afghanistan and, and mm-hmm. work out <laughs> while they're there. It's that's crazy. Um, so yeah, so this is super helpful. Um, awesome. Thanks so much guys. Well, one, one more thing real quick before you hang up, uh, Deborah, now that I know you're also yeah. going carnivore, even more reason to do more yeah. element. Yeah. Your, right. your body's getting rid of sodium, uh, like crazy. Yeah. So unless you so, have, unless you have high blood pressure or your doctors advised you to watch your sodium, um, I would go a packet before, a packet during, and throughout the day, probably drink a couple more and then see yep. how you feel. I, I've been doing, even on non-workout days, I drink usually a pack to a pack and a half. Um, plus, I've been salting my food pretty heavily. So I do try to stay on top of that, um, the salt for sure. Yeah, but you would be surprised again, you know, just because you're salting your food and especially because you work out. You well, would- especially now she's eliminating carbs too, because that changes that, right? So oh, if you yeah. eliminate carbs and if you're eating whole foods, you're eating clean, then um, like Sal said, I think you could easily yeah. get away with two or three packets every day. I mean, I, I salt my food too. I don't eat processed food, but I salt the hell out of my food. And I have probably, and I'm, I'm very low carb he right now. Really, so he carries salt in his purse. And I have, he three, goes. I have yeah. three, three to four packets of element a day, usually around three. Just so, you, just just to give you some uh, some context. Okay. okay, awesome. Okay, that's that's awesome. Thanks so much, guys. No problem. Mm-hmm. God, I would I would I would hate to work out. Oh, in that. I'm such a baby. It's the worst. I was gonna bring <laughs> up, dude. Like uh, yeah, when I when, when I went to the Midwest and, and uh, had to deal with the heat and the humidity was really what like got me because it was basically like you're walking in this sauna and you're, and you're trying to do your regular workouts, but it just drains the hell out of you. I actually started to put really cold towels in between sets on my neck. And just to try and like get my body mm. temperature down a little bit to then go back and have something, but I was always just zapped. I, I love extreme weather workouts. Really cold, really hot. I don't know. It adds an element of like really puts me in the in the zone when I'm doing it. But yeah. you cannot. I mean, I tell you right now, it toughens you up. And it, it just it's different. Like when it's really hot, I'll get better pumps. Obviously, the sweat feels good. Uh, when it's really cold, I just feel mm. like I'm more aggro into the workout. But the sodium thing is a big one, man. It's, it's like, huge. And it's different from person to person. So, of course, if, you, if you're advised to reduce your sodium, then you don't want to do this. But it makes a huge difference with people. I had runners that I would train that would only lift weights with me or train with me once a week, but they train so often with running. And, and I would have them add uh, Himalayan salt to their water. Mm-hmm. And they noticed a uh, tremendous improvement in there. And we've been just sold for so long that sodium's so bad yeah. that it feels bad to add more, you know? But again, if you're healthy... And you're not eating a lot of processed food. Uh, go ahead and experiment and see how you feel with with more of it. 